Testing, testing, one, two, and two, three. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything in relation to the metaverse. Today, very exciting video, as we're going to talk about VR boxing. Is Thrill of the Fight the best VR boxing game you can purchase today using your HP Reverb G2? And also, what's the tracking like? What are the graphics like? And what's the gameplay like? All the greats and the bads. Timestamps in the description below in case you want to skip anywhere. But first, guys, do remember you can enter to win a brand new HP Revo D2 sponsored by HP, a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the chair, the cyber carpet, and everything that goes with it. And the third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your Oculus Meta Quest 2 store, your Vive port, and also your Steam VR store. So this is really awesome. Do make sure to be part of the notification squad and enable your notification bell after you subscribe as you could be notified as one of the potential winners. Mm, that's right. So link in the description below to all this. I also wish to thank and Leon for sending us a brand new microphone. It's on the way as some of you in the comments have pointed out we had some issues. So it is true sometimes depending how I bend it, I had some issues. So a brand new microphone is coming. However, I have been using it for so many hundreds of hours. It's been absolutely fantastic. All right, now let's jump into VR. All right, so let's go inside of Thrill of the Fight. Now, before I do anything, uh, just let you guys know, because I'm running the actual video controllers and OBS and all that kind of stuff, I brought my video settings of Thrill of the Fight. If I just go to Thrill of the Fight very quickly, uh, which is here, I brought it down to 56% to make sure that I don't have any worries whatsoever uh, and that my, you know, my, my VR headset doesn't uh, stop working or go black or blue or whatever. Uh, if you have any issues, just bring your Steam uh, VR super sampling settings down and then incrementally bring them up. Go to the Steam VR setup guide with tons of cool graphic tips over there. So when you launch the app for the first time, you're here and there's a scale here. Now, it's not possible to bring the scale to you, which I think is a little... Uh, it would be nice if there was a way to do it because, you know, like, for example, I have a wall next to me. But anyway, you have to step... On the scale, so you can see your shorts, which is pretty fun. Okay, and then you look straight. I like this part, and then you're inside. So basically, it automatically takes your, your height, I guess. Um, now, my, my boundary, by the way, is switched off, but I do not recommend you do that. This is the second time I'm shooting. I forgot to actually uh, film when I was training, so I'm already pretty tired. Um, but never mind, all good. All right, so in the main menu, there's a certain number of things that you can do, of course. Uh, you have different information for configuration here, like a summary of your configuration. It's quite nice. Let's go to settings. Uh, let me see. There's no way to turn off the... I can scroll here, okay. Uh, so let me see if I can turn off the actual music. I think that'd be great. Visuals, okay. Uh, be, it'd really be good if there was a way to do pointing because this is a bit hard for me. Let me just turn this off. There we go. And then now I'll be able to use the actual sound. The actual sound. Okay, cool. Um, so, what I'm going to do is miscellation is adjust automatically, okay? Crowd 100%. Radio, we turn it down. Brightness 100%. Display audience on, yes, okay. Show player shorts on. All right, so you can turn that off. Uh, third person camera. Oh, okay, you can have a spectator view, I guess, is what they're saying. So you can see your, your player in front of you. Show impact effect on, okay, cool. We can turn that off. Controllers outline. Uh, well, I mean, I guess if you turn it on, oh, you see the outline of the actual controller itself. Okay, so no use for that. Uh, drift protection off limit glove distance floor height must be correct okay maybe we can try that a bit later glove size medium so we can up the size large or small okay so we leave that on medium in match turn direction left right backwards none the bets utilize space turn this direction in match okay uh, always face forward on or off okay and then the controller position okay Cool, awesome. So let's take that off. Let's go to speed bag. There we go. Nice little speed bag. So at the moment, as you can see inside the room, uh, I'm actually not using any lights. I'm just using the window. 
Uh, and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon here in Singapore. So let's just do this. Let's see how it goes. It was doing fine earlier. I had no issues. It was about an hour ago. So I had more sunlight inside of the room. And then perhaps as the... Uh, as I keep recording, of course, the sunlight is going to keep going down, so I can switch on the lights afterwards. But normally, if you're looking straight here within your peripher peripheral, uh, there shouldn't be any issues with the controllers. And I'm not, I'm not really good with this thing, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not a good boxer, so I'm probably not doing it right, I would imagine. <laughs> Just keep watching things like Rocky, you know, Rocky Balboa, the movie or something. Uh, or go on YouTube and learn how to do this properly, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah, but no, it seems good fun. I'm getting good haptic feedback from the controllers. I definitely recommend using the uh, Mambo Grips, by the way. If I wasn't using the Mambo Grips, it's a horrible experience to be doing this. Link in the description uh, below. Do, link the, uh, do use the link in the description as well. Uh, so that you can give a little kickback to the channel and support us. That'll be really awesome. So we can keep growing. That'd be great. And, uh, oh, by the way, do go and check out yesterday's video all about YouTubers' earnings, ad revenue. And uh, we also, also share uh, our own ad revenue. So you can find out how much all the big YouTubers make. If you're interested in YouTube and want to find out how much money people earn or how we earn our money in YouTube, doing VR, of course. So, yeah, no, this is not bad at all. Tracking is pretty good, as you can tell. Uh, no loss in tracking. And by the way, HP, as I mentioned, I think before, uh, are sending us a brand new HP Reverb D2 with the actual uh, revised tracking and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be receiving it in uh, maybe a couple weeks' time. They're going to send it today or early next week. So, you know, we'll be receiving it soon. So that's pretty awesome. Very cool. Very, look, uh, very much looking forward to that. Okay, so that's that. So this here tells you in your speed bag current rate. Uh, God, I'm, I'm pretty... Whew. It took energy out of me, I'll tell you, it'll be pretty ripped by the end of the year. A uh, current rate and your best rate as well. You can reset it, of course. Just punch the bag. So you navigate. It'd be good to have some controllers where, you know, with the lasers and that kind of stuff, so it's easy to, to navigate. Um, okay, so next, let's go to the dummy. There we go. So dummy, you have to hit the little, the little things there. So basically, this is the one in the middle here is a little uppercut. And then it changes color and you hear a little beep. Okay, and then this one. It should go beep. There we go, beep. Oh, God. It's quite hard. Eh? Um, my arms are actually hurting a little bit. Because I forgot to record the video earlier. <laughs> so I was like doing this for 45 minutes with no recording of the video and purely the sound. So now I'm a little bit, a little bit tired, but for the purpose of the video, definitely do it. Now I love the graphics in here. I have to say they're very simple, but very effective. And guys, I do apologize if you can hear any noise. Heavy bag. There we go. So you have this thing here. False mass credit punch type. So here's the thing. So I love the. I love the sound effects, I have to say. Pretty awesome. Whew. Definitely getting a good workout out of this. I'll tell you, you get, you'll probably get ripped by the end of the year. I mean, this is just pretty amazing. They're not really telling you what to do. You just do it, I guess. Get some good training in here. I like the sound effects I mentioned. And I'm not sure the bag is moving properly, though. I guess so. Again, the harder you hit it, I mean, the physics are pretty good. The harder you hit it, the more it'll move. So if you wait for it to, and then go there, and then wait for it, and then bring it back, then you can make it move more, like that. You can see my glove a little bit on the left-hand side is sticking, because on the HP Reverb D2, if you don't move your controllers, they stick. So you have to move it. So that's the only thing. There we go. Whew. I guess I can use the sound. 
of the microphone on the HP Refab DT recording. It's not an issue. Okay, all right, that's done. Force, okay, impact, velocity, mass credit, punch type, left hook. Whew, tell you why, I'm getting so tired because I was doing the recording earlier. All right, do that. And then now let's go to focus ball, okay. All right, so what am I supposed to do? I like the focus ball, it's pretty hard, I'll tell you that. It's very hard, the focus ball. But the tracking is pretty good. I mean, no issues with the tracking, guys, as you can tell, in the sunlight. Whew. God, it's really hard, I'll tell you that. Sorry if you're getting a bit of a headache watching, I hope you're not. I'll try my best to uh, punch it straight. Now it goes on the side. Oh, God. I missed it. It's really, it's pretty hard. It's very hard. The, the, the physics are very well done, I have to admit. But as you can tell, when I'm not moving my controllers, it's sticking. Both, both controllers are sticking. If you look at this, I'm not moving my controllers. They stick from time to time, so if you're not moving your controllers, they'll stick like that. There we go, they're sticking. You see, I can't move my left controller now, and I'm going to move my hand. There we go, it's back. So that's the only thing. But it doesn't, it doesn't distract from the gameplay, it's fine. It's just that it's a little bit odd to have a glove floating around. But I can still do, make all my hits without any issues. Oh man, I'm so tired. And guys, do make sure you're unable to bell after you subscribe and be part of the notification squad because I will do more videos with also using the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which is the Oculus Meta Quest 2 competitor. And, you know, give you an insight as to what it's like to do this without the wire, without the actual cable. Uh, so you're doing a standalone kind of version, even if you're, you know, streaming to Steam, which is fine, uh, via the air link. All right, let's go to extras. Extra battle, ghostly boxer, Halloween 2017, test your reactions, okay? Let's do this. Ooh, we're in a dungeon. Now, it would be nice. Protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Okay, so what would be good, though, is if I can have the opportunity with my controller to move left and right, that would be good, because now what I have to do... Let me just reset, see if it works when I reset the position. No, I'm still facing this side. Um, it, okay, maybe there's an option. Okay, this is quit, continue. Okay, there we go. Ooh, oh, I really can't see him. Oh, I like the effects. Very cool effects here. I like being inside of here, it's pretty nice. Okay, so you can kind of see double when you've been hit. I like the arcadey kind of gameplay here. Okay, I can't really hit him. It would be good if I could quit, actually. Uh, I don't like the... Um I don't like the, the, the bright the bright stuff, it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. And the double vision doesn't doesn't do it for me at all. I don't like that at all, one bit. So let me just uh, quit out of the app because I can't seem to go back to the main menu. I'm stuck. Definitely not a nice experience for me, this one, uh, this specific level here of the game. Okay, so we're back inside, so we just exited from the extra, which honestly speaking, I'm not very keen on. I don't think... Uh, it's not for me, it might be for other people, but I think double vision, I mean, I understand all about being immersed in virtual reality, feeling the pain when you're getting hit, obviously, uh, you know, it provides more realism to the game, but I'm just saying that for me, it's not something I want to experience, I'm not very comfortable with that. Maybe there's an option in the settings to turn that off, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure where it is, to be honest with you. So, and then when I try to, okay. Uh, so maybe it's in the setting somewhere, I just don't know what to call it, what it's called. Um, but yeah, I didn't really enjoy that. And also to quit the game was very hard. It'd be nice if I could just press a button and then it gives me the option to quit. 
Uh, so let's just go directly to the fight. Here we go. Sparring partner. Okay, so we have easy, normal, endurance, and outclass, which we can, out, which we can uh, unlock. So we're normal at the moment. Let's go to easy. Uh, and then let's just start match. Okay, again, it'd be nice if I could I actually... I tell you two things. Protect yourself at all times and obey what I say at all times. Let's make this a clean fight. All right, let's continue. Be good if I... Oh. Yay. Two, three, four, five, six. The graphics are not bad at all, I have to admit. They're pretty good. Although he looks a little bit awkward. Uh, oh. Okay, I'm already here. Okay, let me just punch him. Tracking is, the tracking is pretty good. I mean, I'm not having any issues whatsoever, as you can see. All right, he's down as well, so that's good. Two. Uh, the only thing I wish I could have in here is just use my joystick to to snap move because my cable is now standing in front of me. Now, my cable doesn't disturb me whilst I'm playing at all. But it's... Um, I mean, I know it's there, but it's not disturbing me. It's just that if you don't have the option to turn and, gentlemen, and your cable will be in front of you... Your winner by technical knockout. The red corner. Woohoo, we won. Cool. So I'm just saying that if you if you don't have the option to turn, because your cable might get in the way when you turn, then that's when there's an issue. Now I know in the settings there's a way to turn, to fa always face something, face forward or something maybe. Uh, maybe let's go and try that. But it would be good to be able to do it from inside the game okay so here's your scoreboard details okay punch count okay uh, and then this will be my opponent so let's just go back first uh, let me get out of here let's go to settings and then always force face forward I'm gonna put on and see whether this makes a difference and let's go to fight and let's start start match there we go so now that i put the option to face forward all the time i'm facing him no more issues i don't have to turn so i do recommend that you uh turn on that option for sure step into your corner okay so we have to step into the white circle and then put the glove here for continue oh Alright, knocked down. Is he knocked out? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not a big fan of the this. I can't move around, I'm definitely stuck here. It's definitely a good workout, I'll tell you that, definitely for sure, very good workout. Um, but I'm not a big fan of being transported with the black, closing my eyes and getting there. Come on. He's quite tall though. Come on. Come on, he can go down. No, we're not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. No, no, no. God. Oh, one of my gloves are gone. I pressed on the wrong button by mistake and my glove is gone. There we go. In his tummy, in the head. Come on, go down. Uppercut. Yes. Wow, that was tough. That was really, really hard. 
Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, with the match ending in the first round. Oh man. Your winner by technical knockout. The red corner. Yay guys! We won Gary Central's one. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts now. After I uh, catch my breath. Whew. Oh man. I like the graphics. It's nice to see some audience there. As you can see. A bit of randomness. Not everyone is uh, putting their hand up at the same time. So I think that's pretty cool. And I mean, if you go up close to him. Look at that. It looks like he's got a soul almost. Isn't that scary? Isn't that amazing? Wow. I mean, the graphics are getting really, really good now. The texturing, the quality of the texturing here are really good. I mean, look at the hair. Really amazing. I mean, can you imagine one day when the graphics are going to become like super hyper realistic? It's going to be crazy. Just really mad. Graphics are really well made. Alright guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this walkthrough and the gameplay of Thrill of the Fight on the HP Reverb G2. It truly is the best VR boxing game available today. In VR, it's really that simple. And as you notice, the HP did actually pretty well. Tracking was absolutely fine. No issue, especially in the daylight. But do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe. Not just because you can enter to win the brand new HP Reverb G2, the Cyber Shoes, and the 50 US dollar voucher to all your favorite VR games. But also because we will be putting it through its paces when we receive the brand new HP Reverb G2 which HP are sending us with the new updated tracking and all this. And also because we will do gameplay, not during the daytime, but more in the nighttime with artificial lighting. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And do remember, as I mentioned before, enter to win the brand new HP Reverb D2, the cyber shoes of the gaming station and the 50 US dollar voucher. Link in the description below how to enter. See you in the comments below and a new video very soon. Bye, and thanks Anne Leon for singing us a brand new microphone as well.